Hey everybody, we're going to take a look at Patriot Thornton 2011. Uh, this was one of his first games to pitch. And so um, we want to take a look at, and look at some of the basics of form. We're not going to go into detail here. But let's first of all just take a look at a, a general throw. He's throwing in there. Looking sharp. Got that Ranger outfit. Taking the sign. And makes the throw. Okay, so that's, that's a first throw. Now we want to go back and take it step by step. We're going to start with a ready position. And as you can tell, he's got a good look into the uh, catcher. And he's got a good balanced set here. You know, he's, he's leaning over a little, a little bit. A lot of this is personal preference. But the key here is to be balanced. So he is balanced. So in the ready position, he's taking the sign. And then he's going to come set. We call this the set position. Now, a common thing with young pitchers is they have their feet too close together. His are not right next to each other, but they're pretty close. And what that happens is, any of you know geometry, if you've got a point at the bottom of something bigger, it's very easy to tip over. What that also does is it creates uh, uh, an inaccuracy. In other words, he's not going to throw balls and strikes quite as good when he's not balanced in the set position. But he looks good up top. He's, he's looking back into the catcher. We're just going to get that stride, that set stride, a little bit further. Now he's going ahead in what we call igniting. At the ignite stage, this is the point where you're, it's like in hitting where you're coiling. You're, you're lighting the spark. And how you do that, how you ignite, is you've got to pull that leg up into your body. Now what, what Pate is doing here, if you notice, his leg looks like it's kicking more toward third base. It's kicking more toward third base. But what you want that, that body to do is you want your knee to kick up more into your body, kind of almost like you're going into a fetal position in a way. If you kick it off to the side like you have here, then what that's going to do is going to cause a loss of velocity, but it's also going to throw you out of balance uh, and, and cause balls and strikes to, or balls to be thrown left and right uh, and in the dirt, a little bit harder to control the baseball, which is common with young, young kids. So now we're going to move to the next phase here after the ignite, what we call the fire. And let's go ahead and back that up a little bit, the fire. This, after you get the ignite, you've set the spark, and now it's time to fire the ball, so to speak. So you can see pay here, firing, and we'll stop it right here in the middle here. The fire position is obviously a big part of it is, is from the point that your leg is at its highest point until your foot hits the ground and you release the ball. That's the fire position. Now in this, very common with young kids in pitching is the stride. You want it to be at the length of the body. In younger kids, that's harder. If you can get 75, 80%, that's pretty good. Uh, in this case, what's going to happen is if you don't have a, a far enough stride, then what you're going to do is trap your body, your, your body transfer, and as we're going to see here in a minute, it causes all sorts of problems with velocity and, and throwing strikes. Now, the other thing that's very common with young kids in the fire position is the foot. If you notice here, Pate's foot's not too bad, but if you look at D, the angle, and what we're going to do here is I want to show you how it gets trapped. We can see it on the video. This is the great part about doing video training is we can see, you're going to see here, look at, I want you to focus in on the foot, the bottom, see how it moves? See how it kind of moves in there? And what that is, that is the body trying to overcome the weight that's being transferred and it gets trapped. And so what it does is this foot at an angle doesn't allow the hips to turn around. Now he does a pretty good job. He's working around it because his, his foot is not too far. But the other thing that's happened is because his stride is not more in this vicinity, a little bit further out, then his body is leaning forward when he releases the ball. What you want to do is that body, you want it to be back a little bit further. Now, the, some people call it the bare chest, but when you stride too short, then your body tends to throw the ball too early and release the ball too far ahead. And again, that causes a lot of problems with throwing strikes. So we call this stage five, which is the strike position. So again, we're going to take a look at Pate's throw one more time all together. He's released it there. Let's go ahead and take another quick look. Here's Pate. Young pitcher again. Doing, he's doing a good job 
for this is like his second or third time he's ever pitched. Again, we're going to work on that foot. You can tell he's even shaking a little bit there. He goes to release it. It's just a lot of balance things and the stride. And you notice that foot again shaking. So we're going to work with Pate on that, but did a great job. And this gives us a starting point for uh, other video analysis that we do.